Welcome back to more designs. I feel like this video is a video that has been waited for for some time. So today I'll be showing you how to get free fonts from the internet and use them on your digital stickers that you can then put into your digital planner. Make sure if you haven't already, take a minute to like this video and subscribe so you can get all sorts of awesome tips for digital planning in the future. Let's jump in. So today I'll be creating a quote sticker using a variety of fonts and I'm going to walk you through each step of that process. So to start, I need to figure out what quote I want to use. As I've shared in previous videos, I get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest. So I'm going to start by jumping into Pinterest and finding a quote that I want to turn into a sticker. I will use this board both for ideas on what quote to use, but also for ideas on different ways I can write quotes and turn them into cute little stickers. So I I love this. Be the reason someone smiles today. So now that I have my quote, I'm going to go back into Procreate. I'm going to hit the plus to start a new canvas. That's screen size. And then I'm going to just start with the planning part. So for me, I like to grab a pencil. I usually like to write in blue because I find it easy to see as I plan. And before I even worry about placement of the quote and how it's going to look, I'm just going to jot the quote down on this page. So this is going to be my first step. Now I need to start thinking about what I want this sticker to look like. So now I'm going to really think about the spacing of my words, if I want anything to be script, if I want certain words on the same line, and just kind of start thinking it through. So I'm kind of thinking the word reason is a big part of this, so I want to make reason nice and big. But actually, I hate the B and the on top of each other, so instead I'm going to put that in one line. When I'm designing stickers that are quotes, I also spend a lot of time thinking about which words I I want big and I also think about what words I want to start with a capital. I want to make sure I'm emphasizing the right words. So I kind of like the idea of making the word smile shaped kind of like a smile. And there we go. Just a rough outline of what my sticker will look like. So this is really my planning layer of my document. And now I'm ready to actually start making my sticker. So my next step is going to be to add text. But before I do that, I want to show you how to bring in another font. So I'm going to open up a browser and I'm going to go to dafont.com. This is my go-to site for finding free fonts that I can use in my planning. The first time you use a site, I really suggest that you just play around and look at what you have. One thing I like to click on is more options, and there's a few different types of fonts available. There is one option that says 100% free, and the fonts on here are created by users all over the world, and they have different rights for their fonts. So some of them allow you to use it for personal use, some of them just have demo fonts, but there are hundreds of fonts on here that are totally free to use and what that means is you can use this in a sticker and then sell that sticker and you're not violating any copyrights. Once you see a font that you like you can click on it. It'll show you all the different letters to give you an idea of what the font looks like. So this Tahu one I really like so I'm going to click on download and then I'll notice in my downloads that it's right here. If I click on it it opens up a separate window for my downloads. It's a zipped file so all I do is click on it again and then you'll notice another file pop up with the ending TTF and that is a common ending for different fonts that you can put onto your iPad. If you have an older iPad you might need to download an additional app to unzip files but with the newest iPads, I'm currently using an iPad Pro, you're actually able to do it right from your iPad. So I'm going to keep going and look for another font just so I can have some variety. There are just so many you can pick. So I kind of like this wool one. Again, I'm gonna hit download. I'll see in my arrow, there it is. Click on it to unzip it, and now the file is unzipped. Now this one is actually a file with a few documents, including a README file. Oftentimes this will contain whatever the rights are to the font that you have. So if there's a font that you chose that isn't 100% free and you're thinking about using it for commercial use, do make sure you take a minute to read whatever the rights are behind the font. So I now have downloaded two different fonts. 
So I'm gonna go back into Procreate. I'm gonna click on the little wrench. So I'm gonna start with the word reason. I'm gonna go to add text. And then after I type in the word, I'm gonna hit this blue edit style button. And up in the right hand corner, you will see an import font button. I'm gonna click on that, go to my downloads, and then down at the bottom, I'll see the two fonts that I just downloaded. So I'm gonna start with the first one. And now in my font list, I will have that font. And they're usually listed alphabetically, so there it is. So now I can change it to the font that I just downloaded online. And I can size it how I want it to look. And remember, whenever you add new text, it puts it into a new layer, which is gonna be nice because it's gonna allow me to resize and shape my sticker however I want. Now I realize I need to figure out what kind of colors I'm going to use, so I'm actually going to pull in another layer picture of a color palette that I want to use. And I'm just going to shrink that down and put it off to the side, and now I'll be able to use these colors. I'm going to add my next line. I'm going to click on that keyboard, and I'm going to type the B, the. And I want to use a different font for this one, but I'm not going to use one of my imported fonts. I want it to look a little more basic, so I love this typewriter font. And actually, now that I see the R is so big, I kind of like the idea of it being off-centered a little bit. Now it's time to add the word someone. And now I'm ready to add the word smiles. And I think for this one, I'm gonna import that other font that I had downloaded. So just like before, I'm gonna go to import font, bring it in. There's a lot of ways that you can edit your text once you've typed it. You can change how far apart the letters are. If you have multiple lines of text, you can change how much space is between each line. So anytime you're kind of not in love with how the letters look, you do play around with it. So now to make the word smiles, smile. I'm gonna make sure the word is selected using my arrow tool, and then I'm gonna click down at the bottom, wrap. And once you hit wrap, you're gonna see that these boxes appear and any part of these boxes you can actually manipulate and move. So now I'm gonna start dragging and dropping each part of my word so that it follows that line that I had created earlier. And this really is a process of just positioning until you like the way it looks. All right, and now I have my smiles. So now all that's left is the word today, and then I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I color and decorate my quote. Some other features that are really nice, you have the ability of toggling this over and making a word all caps. You also have the ability to have only the outline of the word by clicking this button, which can look really cool in stickers sometimes. Another thing I wanna show you, if you click on Freeform, this is another way to resize your text, but this keeps it even within a square. So if I wanna smush my word down a little bit and stretch it out, I wanna click on Freeform. I'm gonna turn off my planning layer and now you can see the beginning stages of my sticker and this will allow me to see if there's any areas I need to reposition and move around. All right, so now I'm ready to start adding color to my words. Now I'm gonna walk you through a few different ways that you can do this. The first thing I can do is just by selecting the color I want and simply dragging and dropping it onto the letters that I want that color. Did So let's say I wanna use this color on the word smiles. I can individually drag and drop the color onto each of the letters. Another way I can do this is by clicking on the layer selecting the word select, and then grabbing my paintbrush and actually painting over where it is. And a neat little trick that I learned to do that is to create a really thick monoline brush. So I'm gonna go to my original monoline brush, swipe over, hit duplicate, and then I'm gonna click on it and I'm actually gonna be able to edit my brush features. And there are a lot of features in here, but there's really only one that we need to adjust. And this is gonna help with all sorts of lettering tricks, so it's really handy to have this second monoline brush ready. So I wanna go all the way down to properties, and then under maximum size, I wanna turn it all the way up to max. Hit done, and now you'll see that you have two monoline brushes, the original one, as well as the one that you edited. And on my iPad, I actually have two because I just remade one and showed you how to do it. Once I've done that, so long as I have the layer selected, I can grab my paintbrush and simply tap, and it's gonna color everything that you have selected, which in this case is all the letters. If we hadn't made that big brush, it would have taken a lot of coloring back and forth. 
So if I want to turn my text into a file that I'm able to color in, I'm going to simply click on that layer and then choose rasterize. And this essentially turns your text into a layer. Once I've done that, I'll be able to use that trick of selecting the layer and coloring in everything. You'll also notice that within the layers, the word A appears as well as the word that is there when it is text. Whereas once you have turned it into a drawing, it'll just be the actual word. I'm gonna do that to the be the, select the layer, and then I can color it in. I think I'm gonna do the same thing to the someone. Again, select the layer, color it in. And then because I made the today with that empty space in between, I think I'm gonna use two colors. So I'm gonna have the outline be the navy blue, but the inside be that pink. And there we go. Now I've got my quote, I've got different colors, I have different fonts, some of which I imported from online. The last thing I think I'm gonna do with this sticker is I do wanna create some sort of fun background. I need to create a layer, but the layer needs to be all the way behind my text because I don't wanna cover up any of my words. Then I need to go through and pick a brush. So I'm gonna go into my brush library, choose painting, and then just look through some of my options. And I do like how streaky this one looks, so I'm gonna adjust the size and then just go over my sticker. And it is pretty light, so it's probably hard to see on the screen. Now if I turn off my background, you can see it a little bit better. Now my last step is to export it. So I'm gonna click share, PNG, drop it into my files. And now my quote sticker is ready to pull into my planner. So if I open up my planner, I'm simply gonna click on the camera and there will be my little quote sticker from before. So now I can resize it and leave it here. So there you have it. We have now imported fonts right into Procreate and used it to design a really fun quote sticker. Make sure if you use some of these tips to create your own quote stickers, you share them with me on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed this little tip and I'll see all of you guys soon.